So it was sort of like a cheap uh, camera, <laughs> but also actually really practical to travel with because you chunk, throw all these bronze notes into a wooden box and, and a flight case and you can take it around the world. And so, um, and then the pendulum was also commissioned. Uh, I went for a visit to MIT a few times, met a lot of people, and then I end, we ended up making the pendulum. Um, and then the Sharpsy Court, which is the last song, that was a totally different story where a friend of mine, Matthew Herbert, emailed me a link to, uh, of Henry Duck playing uh, music. And, and so I ended up going to Kent and, uh, and arranging uh, the song for that. The Hang Drum, which uh, Manu de Lago plays, that's another story. Yeah, he did a really good job, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody loves Manu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. He's... Um, yeah, I just saw him on YouTube play that really amazing song and we were listening to it all the time uh, when we were making Biophilia. In the end, I asked him if he would play uh, In Virus, his song, and then uh, he came uh, to a rehearsal and he said, and then uh, he, uh, he started arranging everything else. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Before we knew it, he played, was on every single song. And uh, he's just kind of this guy that can do everything, you know. So he really uh, yeah, saved, saved us. So yeah, I think that's all the instruments, right? Yeah, thank you. Um, yes, please, here. Hi. Um, with the Biophilia app, do you think you're going to release any future apps, uh, music related like Biophilia? Are those on the pipeline? So, sorry, the question is about whether um, there will be any more apps coming from Bjork, uh, like the Biophilia one. Um, well, the 